Robert Maplethorpe is one of photography's greatest icons, and now HBO Documentary Films is tackling the subject of his life in Maplethorpe Look at the Pictures. We're at the New York premiere on the right carpet, so get ready for a great night behind the velvet rope. How much would Robert have loved to have seen a movie about him debut in New York? Well, what would he have said, huh? Well, I think Maplethorpe would, would have been very excited, although we were, we were talking on our way here, like, would he like the movie? Would he not like the movie? I think he would think it was almost very good, because he was a perfectionist. He would have I, loved the attention, though. I think he'd have loved it, because, you know, it's so much about him and with him and in his voice, in his own words. I mean, what's not to like if you're Robert Maplethorpe? When you look at his story, and you look at him looking at the film, you think he would have made changes? And what would those changes have been? Well, you know, everyone's an editor these days, so I'm sure he would have made some changes. I, you know, I think maybe he might have made it longer. <laughs> more about him. He's like, yeah, more about like, me. Mm, I'm not really on camera enough. <laughs> well, the thing about Robert Maplethorpe is he was a kind of brutally honest artist and person. He lived his life in a brutally honest way and his art was brutally honest and this film is brutally honest. So actually, the more I think about it, I think he kind of would like it. What would your brother have thought about having a premiere in New York for a movie about his life? Uh, well, we all know that Robert was certainly seeking promotion and looking for fame and um, I think Randy and Fenton both did a fabulous job. I mean, Robert's a complicated man, um, but he's an exceptional artist, and I think people that see the film, hopefully they'll separate the, the two and, um, and and enjoy it. I mean, uh, it's an in-depth profile, but um, I mean, I, I worked with Robert for many years, and I, I know him quite well, and um, I think he would be ecstatic that here in the Time Warner Center in his hometown of New York. And um, I'm very privileged and to be here with my sister. I mean, this is uh, the first time I'm able to share this yes. with, with a sibling of mine. And uh, it's, uh, it's special for that reason. Having worked with him, what him made him so great as an artist? What made him Maplethorpe? He had singular vision. I mean, I think um, even from the, his earliest moments and from, from his childhood, he had a, a way of seeing things and um, he developed that um, growing up and then uh, subsequently going to Pratt. And, you know, he, he didn't excel in, in school and in Pratt. I mean, he did his artwork in the way he wanted to do it. And he often was told, and I think it's, it's mentioned in the film, that um, some of the teachers were suggesting he do it otherwise, and he was very adamant and focused and, and uh, made sure that he did it his way. I was talking to his brother Edward, and Edward called him complicated. Talk to, me about, talk to me about what Robert was like in real life. Uh, I, I found Robert uh, less complicated uh, uh, and more simple on a level, meaning that he uh, was not hard for me to figure out. We were, you know, as you know, boyfriends for all those years. But he was uh, sweet to me and to all, uh, our group of people that we hung out with, the girls. Patty, of course, first. Uh, Marisa Berenson, Lulu de la Palace, that group of uh, glamour gals. It's a different world. When you look at his legacy as an artist, what is that legacy? Now, uh, then I watched it happen because when I met Robert, he uh, was living in the Chelsea Hotel, and it was, uh, you know, I wouldn't say hard times. It was just uh, young times. The legacy is that he is, uh, I would say, the artist that, uh, along with Andy Warhol, that many people want to be today. Many young people want to be uh, him on a level but the world doesn't support that kind of behavior anymore on the level of uh, art. It's, a, it's more complicated, the art world now. So I watched his career go from zero to 100. Tell me about Maplethorpe, what was he like? Robert, well, Robert was complicated. Uh, and I don't know what to say, really. I mean, he was basically a hard-working artist, and his choice of, his aesthetic choices were very special in that 
At the time, no one else was doing it. I mean, he launched a whole school of like, of like photographers and, and like his aesthetic. I mean, it's, you know, he's still a big deal today. You know what I mean? And what can you say? You know, like the pictures tell the story. Look at the pictures. <laughs> I'm guessing you were a fan as well, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, cool it, no, no, yeah. But, she, but mainly, she was, she I was a younger. friend of Jack's. Yeah, yeah. She, she, I was a friend of she, Jack's she's in the nineties. One 90s. of my best friends. Yeah. And so, so she got to hear about it all the time. Like we met in like the early nineties, and we're still friends today. So, yeah. she, she's a. Um, She's marinated in the history yeah, of like yeah. Robert Maplethorpe and Patti Smith, you know, she's really good. She's part of the family. You're a fan of Maplethorpe, I'm assuming that's I what am. brings you here? Yeah, and also um, the producers from World of Wonder, Randy and Fenton, um, produce uh, RuPaul's Drag Race, which is on right now, which I'm judging. So I wanted to come and support the team. How is that, by the way? So I did this LA premiere last week, oh, and RuPaul yeah. was there. Yes, I was supposed to be there, but I was busy filming Celebrity Apprentice. You're everywhere. I am. I am. I'm trying to take over all media. What a genius, right? Ahead of his time. Oh, my Lord. Fabulous, interesting, different, exciting, sexy, smart. I think it's going to be fun. I'm actually really looking forward to it. I think you just described your latest line. Not Sounds so good to me. <laughs> so tell me, when you look at Maplethorpe, what made Robert Maplethorpe Robert Maplethorpe? What made him the well, icon? I think that he crossed all the barriers, and I think he didn't think. Of, I don't think that he thought about that he would ultimately be so famous and so well received. I think it was all about his artistic desire to create, and I think that shows through with that he was doing something for himself and his subjects, and not necessarily now for all these other people around the world looking at the work. 